somebody really special is coming in today but I have a bunch of errands to run on my way to the airport. I finished all of the chores here on the property, cleaned the van, burned boxes, organized the shipping container. We did the garden. So I think Akil and I are all set to hit the road. I grabbed some cheap coffee at a gas station on the way to the laundromat. And I'm feeling so just content right now. All of these things to make up this moment just have a really intense feeling of home to me. I cleaned my van today and I've been using the same cleaner for my countertops for over four years now. The sound of the change machine, drinking my coffee while driving the van, the smell and just the calmness of the laundromat the bed sheets stripped with Aquila just hanging out all of this just feels like home like this is life on the road and it is the most comforting lovely feeling ever and i know for a lot of people this is like a big chore or a nuisance but this just feels like home moments like this make me realize that i've totally embraced my version of home and feeling at home is something that I have felt all over the world, usually when living really simply and after creating experiences that stack over days or weeks, or in this case years, that really fill my soul. Are you ready to see your grandma? <laughs> She's not here quite yet. Oh, maybe she is. Oh, there she is. Akila, your grandma's here. Here, come on up here. There you go. While I don't have a beautiful or fancy home right now for my mom to drop her bags in and wash up, I do have all of these other special things to show her. Many of which took hours of both learning and physical work to bring them to life. There was a giddiness when driving onto the property with my mom because I couldn't wait to show her the wildflowers and the garden that we've been tending, the projects taking place in the shipping container, and the never-ending excitement when I turn on my well pump. But the best part, the part that trumps everything, is when the people I love are excited about playing a role in the creation of building the feeling of home. Mom and I just got back from town and we picked up our CSA box. Um, and this is what we got this week. Parsley. <laughs> and it smells so good. Red radishes. What are these? I don't know, collard greens. These drinks? are some kind of collard kale. I wonder if we can use them like a wrap almost. Oh, that might like be really put good. Put something in here and then roll them up. That would be fun. Does it, how does it taste? I think we could cook them. Yeah. Let's cook them. <laughs> a nice little head of butter crunch. Two because... heads of broccoli. Oh, this is wonderful. This is like my favorite vegetable. Tomatoes. Beef two, steak tomatoes, they said. Them. This is what I'm most excited about. Oh, 
Apricot. So this is apricot territory, huh? Yes. Mm. So sweet. Mine is so sour. <laughs> mine is so sweet. Wait, here, take a bite of mine. Yours is sour. I'm good with sour. No. I am. Mom. Mom. <laughs> Mm. That just reminded me of the girl, there's a meme where the little little girl is eating food. It looks like you're enjoying yourself. Mm. Oh, yeah, that looks like you're enjoying. Oh, I you do. Like <laughs> but I do like sour. These are so good. my plans for the shed have evolved originally it was just going to be like a very simple wooden like garden shed but now it's going to be much more grand than that so I had not insulated the floor at all I wasn't gonna insulate any of it but now I do want it to be a year-round thing since this is gonna be my studio Baron came over a few days ago and helped Chris and I lift it it was quite the struggle but we got it at least to this point so that I can get under there and insulate the floor for that. And it was at this moment that I realized I only had a few long screws left and that this project, which I thought we would be able to complete in one day, would in fact need to wait because everything takes longer than you think it will. I might not have enough screws. but there is never a lack of projects or work to do around here. And this was the most perfect timing because Chris did not have to go film a project for the next two days. So he was able to jump in where we left off and took care of the majority of digging these holes while mom and I used our combined effort for our initial project. Then you said you had one, you think, here? You had another one? You should have grabbed it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I just thought it was like here. No, <laughs> out. no I put it there for Aquila so she'd have some more stuff. <laughs> that was for Aquila. Mom oh. went and grabbed her, her cup. This is part of a set that I made her for Mother's Day. There's two cups and a pitcher and a little bud vase with these carvings. This is her first time using it. Yeah, I know. Wow. 
mom is over at the retreat center. <laughs> that is what she calls the shipping container. She said she's gonna go over to the retreat center and do her stretching and her meditation and she's gonna finish her AG1 over there and I'm gonna make her coffee and bring it over there in a little bit. I have a really fun experiment <laughs> this morning. But before I get into that, I wanna thank AG1 for supporting my channel and for sponsoring today's video. My love language is like cooking for people or making coffee in the morning. It's been really fun to like make her AG1 every morning before then I make her her coffee. And she loves AG1. Even this morning she was reminiscing on her time in Spain. When I drink this and when I drink it on the Camino, mm -hmm. I feel I'll have a good day. <laughs> a really beautiful thing about AG1 is that it is so simple. A single scoop of AG1 each morning can replace your daily multivitamin and mineral, your probiotic, your green superfood, your stress adaptogen, immune support, and cognitive support. I've been drinking AG1 now for many years, and one of the reasons why I'm so confident in it is because it is backed by research studies. For example, 97% of participants felt more energy after just 30 days of drinking AG1, and 94% of participants noticed less cravings after 90 days of drinking AG1. Even though I always try to create some more relaxation in my life or less travel, it just never ends up that way. That just like isn't who I am. I have a really epic trip planned for Montana in a few weeks. I'm heading back to Wisconsin for a family camping trip. This spring I'm heading to Suriname in the jungle on top of all of the projects that I'm building with my own hands here on the property. So my life is just always really busy and full of new things, which I absolutely love. If you also pack your life with adventure and projects and need something really simple and healthy to start off your day, make sure to head to the link in my description below and that link will get new customers $20 off your first subscription. And it comes with a free AG1 shaker bottle, canister, five individual travel packs, and and vitamin D3 K2. Um, yesterday we started two big projects. One is insulating the bottom of my studio and then the second one being the, the fence for the garden. But we had to pause because both of them require more materials that I don't have. <laughs> so we drove all the way into town. It was like a two, two and a half hour trip just to get materials and go to the post office and grab a few other things. Uh, that's the only negative of living kind of out in a space like this is that it takes so long to gather the, the supplies that you need or if you forget one little thing or one type of screw then it's, a, it's quite a quite a drive but what I'm working on right now are these so I have all of the apricot pits from those local apricots in the CSA box and in this little mason jar all of the seeds that I've cracked open so far so I'm cracking the seeds out of their pits so I can start my own apricot tree. Like that. And then that's the little seed inside of the pit. Wait a second, where's my mom? Mom? Oh, here she is. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Leak away into a cerulean sky. Stars blaze like old fashioned oil lamps. Water came from three big tanks perched on top of a nearby hill, replenished from the wells in blood. A guide would come in handy, Clover thought. She made a bolt. Mom and I are taking some time this morning to work on the garden, not the not the fence quite yet, but now that the three sisters bed is doing really well, the beans are huge. They've just like popped up in the last two days. We're gonna cover that a little bit more with straw 
And then these potatoes are huge and they need to be buried a little bit. <laughs> so is that one ready, Mom? Yeah. yeah. But you know, we might might as well get them all ready. Should I do another one? Uh yes. Just to go around it. Okay. Another one? Yep. This will give the potatoes some place to grow into. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Oh my god, I didn't know your camera was right there. <laughs> okay. Right now, there are no blueprints or structures that I could place on my property that could make it feel like home. And I guess that's where the definition of home gets blurry in my eyes, because for me, it has nothing to do with an end goal. It's really more about creating these moments and finding so much joy and simplicity, being content with every little small step and allowing this space or this land to soak up all of the love along the way. And maybe this is really just a long-winded way of saying that I much prefer the journey over the destination. Because years from now, my mom's help and her hard work and shared excitement about everything that we accomplished this week are threaded into this ever-evolving feeling of home. Side of fears are done. 
Oh, the good times.